Hi and welcome to episode number 466 with whatsforchild.com and the next episode in our series on distilling. This episode is part one of two where we're going to ferment a high alcohol sugar wash. In part two tomorrow we will distill it using the stockpot distilling technique we looked at in the previous distilling episode. Vodka, by definition, is pure ethanol in water. It has no distinctive smell or flavour. However, this is only true for vodkas that have been distilled using refraction, or column stills. When vodka is distilled using a pot still, or in this case a stock pot still, a portion of the aroma and flavour of the fermented liquid does pass on to the distilled product. This will give every different type of pot stilled vodka its own distinctive taste and aroma. We are going to make a fermented sugar wash which is ideal for producing vodka. Sugar wash has become increasingly popular with distillers as it produces no methanol and insignificant quantities of fusel oils. It is the perfect wash for beginner distillers and especially when using a stock pot still where it is really inconvenient trying to remove heads and tails during the process. To start, add the water to your fermentation vessel and add the sugar. Heat the water and stir the solution until the sugar has totally dissolved. Allow the solution to cool to 40 Celsius or 104 Fahrenheit. Then add the turbo yeast. Stir this in briefly. Reduce the heat to 30 Celsius or 86 Fahrenheit, place the lid on the pot and allow this to ferment for 48 hours. Due to the anti-foaming agent, this fermentation will only show a thin film of bubbles on the surface, but you will certainly be able to hear the bubbles in the pot. To achieve the relatively high alcohol content of between 14 and 19%, we are using specially formulated yeast called turbo yeast. This yeast enjoys higher temperatures, does not develop any nasties, it has yeast nutrient built into the formulation and as an added bonus, an anti-foaming agent. After 48 hours, listen to the fermentation. If the bubbling has reduced significantly, it is ready. If not, allow it to continue. Mine is ready and it is time to rack or siphon off the wash. Take a food grade container and a length of polyethylene pipe. Use a silicon elastic band to strap a skewer onto one end of the pipe so that just a half inch of the skewer protrudes past the end of the pipe. This keeps the end of the pipe clear of the precipitated dead yeast at the bottom of the tank. Place the skewered end of the pipe in the fermentation wash. Get the siphon going. Place the other end of the pipe in the bottle and run the fermented liquid into the bottle. This is a quick look at the precipitate at the bottom of the fermentation vessel. Here is the racked fermented sugar wash. You'll notice how cloudy it is. This is fine yeast particulate that has not precipitated yet. We want to clear most of this before distilling. Put the cap on the bottle and place the wash in your refrigerator for two to three days. After this time, notice how much clearer the wash is. Once again, notice the precipitated yeast at the bottom. Rack this off again and you're ready to distill the wash. Please stay tuned for tomorrow's episode where we will distill this using a stock pot distiller. Thanks for watching today, please subscribe to our channel and we'll see you again tomorrow.